because we all see, it's been a long time since we've seen that many big plays, running game, receiving game, tight end, just so many players that can play. You know, this team is very explosive, and it all starts with our O line. You know, they've gotten so much better, have, have gotten so much improvement over this offseason, and they're allowing us to, you know, make those throws, make those runs. It you know, all starts with them, but we got the, we definitely got the keys in this offense. Phil, knowing that you're graduating next year, was it mean to you personally that some of the younger guys got so much time to play and get more experience? Uh, it was great to see, honestly, you know, just for them to grow their experience just because I know like me I was when I was a sophomore freshman you know, to go out there and play gave me confidence so I'm glad that they got that experience too. Phil uh, I asked Kate you know last week was a tale of two halves now it was a tale of two games just a great turnaround and just day and night as far as the, from the George game to tonight and you talk about the O-line how great they played Coach Luke definitely had them ready to go these first two games didn't really Showed in the score last week, but definitely showed out uh, tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, the O-line, I mean, Coach Sweeney talked about it. They gave up no sacks last game or this game. You know, they've been doing a great, um, like, a unbelievable job, honestly. And, you know, we just got to – we just got to execute. That's really been the thing, just execute. You know, momentum's a big thing in this game. So uh, it's all about the details, especially in a game like last week. You know, the details are what matters, especially when Coach Winnie likes to say, when talent meets talent, you know, the details are what matter. Do you feel that uh, next week having a bye week is perfect timing, or do you think kind of stalls yeah. momentum, or how do you guys see the bye week before NC State comes to town in uh, a couple of weeks? The bye week's perfect, honestly, just because it allows us to recover anyone that's injured to, you know, get back right, and it just allows us to have more focus on NC State. We have two weeks of preparation instead of a couple days, so it gets us more locked in on the opponent. Did you have a sense that this was coming? I mean, we didn't see this last week. We didn't even close to it. I know George is really good at this. But, I mean, did you have a sense that this was coming, or were you a little surprised that first quarter and that second quarter and just the game as a whole? You know, I expected it, honestly. You know, the, the keys that we have in this offense, there's no reason why. You know, we shouldn't be able to score as many points as we want. We just got to be on the same page and execute. That's really been the name of the game. Just execute whenever you get an opportunity and just stay locked in. Tell me about that run. I mean, you run for that long inside the gallery. Uh, that was crazy, honestly. Yeah, I, I was – I just didn't know if someone was behind me, so I had to check up on the screen. Then it turned back because I thought it was going to slow me down. But I was glad um, I was able to – you know, add to the joy of my team, be able to do something big like that and get the fans hype and the side of the Phil, obviously, you know, a win is a win, and that's the important part. But do you take pride in knowing you guys set the record for yards and points and a half? Is there like a pride you take in that as an offense? Oh, yeah, for sure. It just shows that, you know, it's not a fluke. You know, we got the ability to be great, and we just got to go out there and do it. You know, it gives us confidence, for sure. Talking away, you mentioned the energy that started at practice on Monday translating to tonight. Just how important was this week of preparation heading into this uh, game and start like that? Well, it's very important. Every week is important is something I'd say. And um, if you're too focused on the past week and the past failures, you know, it's going to carry on to the next week. So you just got to flush it and be able to focus on what's ahead. And that's just what we did. Mentioned wiping whatever comes before. How much, how important was Cape Clubbing's leadership and just moving on from that Georgia result, and getting focused on App State and getting prepared for this week? It was very important. You know, him being our quarterback, we organically look to him for support and his leadership. And you know, he plays that role. He's ready to go every single day. Never takes a step back, and you know, he's fierce competitor. So we love that in him. So I'm just curious from your perspective as a running back when you see Cade tossing up bombs like that and end up completing for a long touchdown. I mean, what's going through your mind when that ball's in the air? I love it. I mean, honestly, touchdowns, I just, more touchdowns. So I love it, and it just gives me confidence because I know that we can do we can do it in one game on a pass game. So our opponents are going to be on their toes naturally. So I just love the versatility of the offense today.